For years, Samsung managed to maintain a comfortable lead in the foldable smartphone market. However, in 2023, rival smartphone brands such as Google and Oppo have finally begun to challenge this dominance. In response to this changing landscape, Samsung has launched its latest Galaxy Z Fold 5, featuring a revamped hinge, slimmer design, and faster internals. However, for most people, the usability of a smartphone in their day-to-day -day lives is more important than its exterior appearance. Therefore, in this video, we will analyze the Galaxy Z Fold 5's charging speeds and determine how long its 4,400 mAh battery will last. Question 1. Will the Z Fold 5 battery life and charging speed? 2. How long does the Galaxy Z Fold 5 take to charge from 0 to 100? 3. Galaxy Z Fold 5 charging times versus the competition. Before we answer these three questions, it is clear to note that the Galaxy Z Fold 5 maintains the same 4,400 mAh battery capacity as its predecessor. It supports 25 watt charging through the USB power delivery PPS protocol when used with the appropriate charger. 1. Galaxy Z Fold 5 battery life and charging speed. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 maintains the same battery capacity as its predecessor, the Z Fold 4, at 4,400 Ma. While we are currently conducting battery life tests for our comprehensive review, we anticipate similar battery performance as the previous model. That translates to approximately five and a half hours of screen on time, based on our review of the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Similarly, if you were hoping for a revolution in charging speeds, you may have to wait, as Samsung has once again maintained the status quo for yet another generation. If you start with a completely drained Galaxy Z Fold 5, Samsung claims that the 25 watt fast charging will enable you to achieve a 50% charge in just 30 minutes. The phone, the same as last year's Galaxy Z Fold 4, also has a limitation where it stops accepting maximum power at some point during the charging cycle. This can result in the total charging time extending well beyond an hour. If you already own a compatible charger from a different brand, there is no need to purchase another one. This is typically the case in the high-end smartphone market, as Samsung does not include an adapter in the box. We have compiled a list of the best chargers for the Galaxy Z Fold 5, and Samsung's first-party 25-watt adapter is a great choice to begin with. When it comes to wireless charging, the Galaxy Z Fold 5 supports a maximum power of 15 watt through the key standard. However, the maximum power draw doesn't necessarily determine the charging speed, as the heat generated can impact the time it takes to fully charge your device. The Galaxy Z Fold 5 also supports reverse wireless charging at 4.5 watt, which can be useful for topping up your wireless earbuds or smartwatch. However, it is not practical for regular use. 2. How long does the Galaxy Z Fold 5 take to charge from 0 to 100? We will conduct a more comprehensive test of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's charging speeds in our complete review. However, the capacity and charging power remain unchanged compared to last year. Based on our review of the Z Fold 4, this means that the device can be fully charged within 85 minutes. Even though Samsung's flagship Galaxy S23 Ultra supports faster wired charging at 45 watt, the South Korean giant appears to be hesitant to go beyond 25 watt on their foldable devices. In our charging test, we paired the S23 Ultra with a 45 watt USB PD PPS adapter and found that it only takes 57 minutes for a full charge. If you choose wireless charging over using a cable, you can expect to wait for over two hours for the Galaxy Z Fold 5 to fully charge. In warmer environments, the total charging time may even approach three hours. For this reason, we recommend considering wireless chargers with integrated cooling fans to ensure maximum compatibility. Three, Galaxy Z Fold 5 charging times versus the competition. 
how does it hold up? Despite offering cutting-edge technology, Samsung's premier foldable phone has an average charging setup compared to the broader smartphone market. Fortunately for Samsung, the company doesn't have much to worry about in Western markets. That's because dominant brands like Google and Apple aren't pushing the fast charging envelope much either. The Pixel Fold, for example, doesn't deviate too far from Samsung with its 21 watt peak charging power. To find higher charging power, you would need to explore lesser known foldables like Oppo Find 2 and Huawei Mate X2, which offer 67 watt and 66 watt of charging power, respectively. When it comes to battery life, Samsung still holds a slight advantage. Despite the Pixel Fold having a larger 4,800 mAh battery, its Tensor G2 tends to consume more power compared to the latest Snapdragon chip found in the Z Fold 5. To that end, you can expect similar runtimes between the two phones, if not slightly better on the Samsung Foldable. So, let us know your valuable thoughts below in the comments section. And if you guys enjoy the video, then a sub to the channel will be great, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you the next time. Peace out.